Yeah. 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 All right, y'all, so I'm here, I got my mask on. I'm kind of mad now because it's very muggy out and I probably could have brought my sign that I took time on, but I didn't want to take the chance and they get like all messed up. Seeing everybody with theirs is kind of like, damn, I should have brought it, but I'm here, I'm excited. everybody's positive energy i can feel everyone's mourning cries i feel it i have goosebumps all over right now no justice no peace yo. what's your name my name is nasir mcdaniels uh i'm coming out of linden new jersey that's my hometown however uh, i go to school at uh jersey city in uh, new jersey city university we did a, a rally on uh on monday we actually uh, ran into a, just a little altercation, not me personally, but uh, some gentlemen were being uh, just, I don't want to say harassed, but they were being um, approached yeah. by uh, police officers and they were just a bit aggressive. That time when, they were, when the police had approached them, everyone who was in their house, on their steps, driving, had stopped and we all came together just to monitor the situation and make sure that our brothers in the forefront weren't hurt. At that moment, you know, the police kind of realized that they were surrounded in a way. So they didn't, they didn't fully engage and frisk everyone and whatever their procedure is, but they definitely um, took note of the unity and felt the strength and aura of just coming together. You stand in solidarity with Black Lives Matter, take a knee! Take a knee, take a knee! If you stand in solidarity with Black Lives Matter, take a knee! We know it hurts. the name. 
marching with us, that don't mean shit Fuck until that. they cause change. Yeah. I have a question for everybody here. If you're black or brown and have been pulled over in Hoboken, raise your hands. For no reason. For no I reason. got my ass beat here. Come on. Let's go. No violence. No violence. Come on. Speak about it. Speak about it. I got called the N word, and guess what? What happens when you do that? You fucking do what you gotta do, and you punch that motherfucker in the face, all right? And I got tackled, not by one, not by two, not by three, all right? My best friend was white. He was right there beside me. He was behind him. He was behind me the whole damn time. They beat his ass. Marks all over him. I ended up in the hospital, got a CAT scan. The first thing the doctor says, were you drunk? That don't matter. Why does that matter? Why does that matter? Come on. We all together, all right? Put your fist up. Accountability. Let's go. Hey. All right? We we all victims here. We all so were. that pain. The pain that I felt, I want you guys all to feel it. All right? We all together. Now let's stand up. Let's make a change. Let's go. <laughs> How will you think you are? It clouds your judgment. Who did it feel that good? Make you feel strong? Does it give you a high? So watch how blood runs. And if it does, how can you call yourself a man of God? Taking oaths, swear on your life, then you would do your job. of this I'm tired of this I'm so happy to see everyone here and standing up for us Don't condone violence. But this, R.I.P. Karen. Y'all see this? I do not condone violence, but this is from this shit. Wait, I'm here. Get out of here. I just got my brother. He threw a ball up his fist. Yeah, he did. Go back to Africa. Ooh. No. No. I get the rest of the Ooh. All right, let me tell y'all what just happened. So that old white man you just saw, me and my boy Adam was walking, and we overhear him arguing with a black guy that seems to be either owner of the place that he was at or just there as a customer. And as we're walking, we're like, all right, let's just keep going. His ass had the nerve to say, go back to Africa. So, you know, this is what today is. Yeah, we didn't get it on camera. But um, I've already prepared myself today. If somebody said the N word or anything out of line today towards me, you know, my face says it all. You know what I say about it. I ain't got to go farther. And if nobody, if anybody don't understand that, then God be with them. Go look up the history. 
You know what I'm talking about, man. You know what I dare you to sit up there and say, explain. You know what I'm talking about, man. You know we've been fighting 400 and still fighting to this day. To this day. To this day. And that's usually enough. I ain't gonna be stupid, but I ain't gonna be no punk either. Part of Black Men United Coalition, Jersey City. You gonna give me the flag too? <laughs> Honestly, this is what the government don't want us to do. They don't want us to come together. They don't want us to, you know, build. So, Brother Nev really teaching me and you know Brother Nas that community is all about us. You know, that's all we about. And I'm just glad that you're a part of these brothers. Just glad to be part of the movement. You know, this is step one. We ain't almost there yet, but this is only step one. So keep going. Keep doing resources. I'm just blessed to be a part of it.